Honda makes excellent gasoline engines. Of course, experience in creating engines of exceptional quality for motorcycles comes into play. Perhaps due to excessive attention to gasoline engines, as well as the brand's focus on the North American market, the development of its own diesel engine was not carried out for a long time. As you know, diesel engines are popular in Europe, so the Japanese brand was inferior to its European competitors in this area. However, Honda offered a diesel engine in 1992, although not of its own design. It appeared under the hood of the fifth-generation Honda Accord. It was the first Accord designed exclusively for Europe, and it was very different from what was intended for the US and Japan. The car was produced in the British town of Swindon and was technically related to the Rover 600, which shared the chassis, platform and most of the units, including the diesel engine. The diesel was developed by the Rover slash Land Rover Group and already used direct fuel injection. The British engine was an analog of the famous German 1.9 TDI for Volkswagen and Audi. When BMW bought Rover in the mid-90s, the British collaboration with Honda ended. However, the Rover, L-Series, engine was used until 2002. The development of Honda's first in-house diesel engine was done from scratch. In the hierarchy of power units, it belongs to the N-Series. For a long time, the engine had only one displacement, 2.2 liters. Hence the designation N22. It was only in 2013 that the smaller 1.6i DTEC with the N16 index appeared. Despite belonging to the same family, the new engine has undergone a number of significant changes. I have good news for you, now, if you are planning to buy a used car, or learn more about your car, you no longer need to search for the information you need on the internet. We have collected everything in one place for you, on the website carme.pro. Here you can find out everything about the car, what brakes and at what mileage, any problems with engines, chassis or gearboxes, which trim levels are better not to mess with and how not to lose money buying a used car. You will learn all this on carme.pro. The N22 turbo diesel is made at a high level. Research and development was carried out by Kenichi Nagahiro, the creator of gasoline engines and the inventor of the VTC system. Many did not expect anything like this from a manufacturer of exclusively gasoline engines. For example, the engine block is made of aluminum alloy with cast iron liners. The design is similar to the PSA DV series product. 1.4 HD and 1.6 HD. This avoided excessive engine weight and ensured quick warm-up. The timing mechanism uses a chain that drives the exhaust camshaft. The intake shaft is connected to the intake shaft using gears. The exhaust camshaft has a gear on the opposite side to control the high-pressure fuel pump. The N22 received a common rail injection system with Bosch electromagnetic injectors operating with injection pressures of up to 1600 bar. One of the advantages is maintainability. It is also worth mentioning the variable geometry turbocharger, VTG, balancing shafts located in the oil pan, as well as a dual mass flywheel. The original version of the Honda diesel engine, commercial designation 2.2 ICTD, and internally N22A, provided 140 horsepower and complied with Euro 4 emission standards from the very beginning. Even in the heavy Honda CR-V3, this unit did without a particulate filter. However, in cars intended for the German market, a particulate filter was still used. True, its location was not entirely successful. The N22A engine is mounted transversely. In this case, the intake manifold is located at the rear, i.e., behind the engine, and the exhaust manifold is at the front. This made it difficult to position the particulate filter. Therefore, it was placed far from the engine, almost under the car. This arrangement reduced the efficiency of burning. The filter clogged quite quickly, and replacing it cost a fortune. It was the third SRB that received the original next-generation diesel engine, N22B. At first glance, there are few changes. The cylinder diameter of 85mm remained the same, but the piston stroke was slightly shortened, 
from 97.1 mm to 96.9 mm. Thus, the engine volume decreased from 2204 to 2199 cm3. The compression ratio dropped from 16.7 to 1 to 16.3 to 1. The biggest innovation was the placement of the intake and exhaust manifolds. The exhaust manifold was behind the engine, and the intake manifold was in front of it. This made it possible to increase the service life of the particulate filter, without which it would no longer be possible to meet negative 5 euro standards. The soot was placed immediately behind the exhaust outlets, which increased the efficiency of regeneration. Instead of electromagnetic injectors, piezoelectric ones were installed, the same Bosch, but with an injection pressure of up to 1800 bar. Experience has shown that even after 250,000 km the filter remains operational. Honda's first proprietary diesel engine not only performs well, but also surprises with its durability. However, there are still some problems. Owners of the first engines produced before 2006 periodically struggled with the short service life of the timing chain, which could become noisy after 100,000 km. The reason is not only due to structural imperfections, but also to the frequency of maintenance. Without high-quality oil, normal operation of the chain tensioner is impossible. The original Euro 4 version suffered from a faulty fuel boost pump relay. This issue was resolved as part of a service campaign, so most likely it has already been resolved. There were also problems with the high-pressure pump itself. Symptoms, difficulty starting, the engine starts after prolonged use of the starter, the engine fault indicator lights up during acceleration. The fuel injection pump had to be replaced because it did not create sufficient fuel pressure. Sometimes cracks were discovered in the exhaust manifold, which was manifested by strange noise and the smell of smoke in the cabin. In addition, the EGR exhaust gas recirculation system became dirty, or the system's solenoid valve failed. You can't count on analogs. Cases of engine seizure were also recorded, the result of high oil consumption due to a worn turbocharger. However, this phenomenon is rare and occurs on early specimens of the first generation. Unfortunately, this engine does not have an oil level sensor. As for maintenance, the oil should be changed every 8,000 km or one year. If equipped with a particulate filter, the engine oil must comply with SAE 0W30 and ACA C2 C3. There is no need to adjust the valve clearance, as hydraulic pushers are used in combination with rollers. This combination significantly reduces not only noise, but also wear. The first generation of this engine can be found in the 7th generation Accord and the 8th generation Civic. It was also present in the 2nd and 3rd generation CRV, as well as in the MPV FRV. The new version debuted in the 3rd series CRV. It also went to the 4th generation CRV, 9th generation Civic and the latest Accord for Europe.